Gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the room, Fairy Vixen here, back again with a new week and some more jewelry, and uh, I had this down so that I wouldn't lose beads when I was trying to work, um, but it's a little, yeah, it's gonna be a problem, so we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that, get rid of that, that, so, as you, if you have been uh, paying attention to my YouTube, not my YouTube, <laughs> my Facebook, I have started making jewelry again, and it's all Rory's fault because, well, he is a gamer, and his favorite game from vintage times was Legend of Dragoon, and somebody in his gaming group makes these so he bought one of these and then I said well pick out beads that you want and he wanted malachite and jet with a little bit of garnet and this is what we came up with mostly him for that so, that is my first piece in ages. Very, very long time. So, that is the first one, okay? And then, Hubs had one that had broken. And it is a lion's claw. Set in sterling. And he likes Jet as well. But look at how this, this is kind of got some red to it as well. Oh man, how did they get in there? Oh, I'm going to have to replace those. Anyway, I have to redo it anyway because I made a mistake. This bit here, the part that you tuck in at the end, I made it too short. So that it stops here so that I can't grab it and pull it through. So I have to restring the whole thing, which is cool because I didn't realize that I had some of these because um, I did it in bad lighting. I didn't realize that I had uh, garnets in there. So that's Hubsy's necklace, and this is all genuine. Uh, these are sterling, and this is all jet and it feels like plastic it feels like wood it is jet is not a heavy stone it's not really even a stone it's a it's a pet not really a petrified wood it's like a ancient driftwood is how i've heard it uh described so yeah we gotta fix these Maybe I'll ask him if he wants a different color there. We'll see. Because, well, I don't know. If it's all black, it'll be fine. But anyway, yeah, um, I have to I have to fix it. So, there's that. And then, I know this is not, you know, stuff you can buy, but I just want to show you some stuff. My next trick is going to be, this is the pendant I'm going to use. It's Tiger Eye. It's beautiful, and I have a simple design with um, small Tiger Eye beads and silver, um, you know, separators. This is not sterling. This is plated, but it's going to be beautiful when it's done. And I, the beads are upstairs because I had uh, Leanne pulling stuff apart for me. And next up, I'm going to make, Leanne sent me this a little bit ago as a, it's an ornament. But I, being how I like large jewelry, that's going to be a pendant with 
these guys and these guys so it's going to be all foxy colors and it's going to be beautiful so i have several things in mind to make um the only one that will be for sale is this one when i get it done um but i will let you know when i make another one that's for sale also we have a problem well, not really a problem. We have, um, we have, someone has decided that they cannot pay or will not pay or do not want their, um, ooh, wait a minute. They don't want the stuff they bought. Or tried to buy or whatever okay where'd the other bag go i had another bag of stuff okay well we'll go through this bag first these are rejects <laughs> this is sterling and pearls and it's stunning and um i had it for 70 And this is sterling and vermeil. It's a little chicky egg, and the uh, chicky inside is vermeil. And that I did for 35. Actually, it's 40 up online, but 35 for that guy. And 70 for this, which is a steal because it's all sterling. It's solid sterling with real pearls. So, those are the first two that need to be resold. The rest is not, you know, a ton of great stuff, but this is, let's see, this is a gold filled, gold filled laser, not laser cut, but embossed. At first I thought it was laser cut, but it isn't. But it's gold filled. See, it says so on the inside. 140, 12 carat RGP. So, roll gold plated is the same thing as... Is it? As gold filled? If it says 140th, it's filled. So we're going to do that one for 20. And this is adorable, and I'm going to do it for 10. Oh, here's some more stuff. There's the bag. This is another person, different person. <laughs> Let's go through one person at a time here. And this was four bracelets, a braided, braided one. Looks like a hand done beginner piece. Do that one for five. This one is beautiful. Um, is it? Oh, it's missing. Missing a piece there that I didn't notice before. Do that one for three. And this one with a little angel and a little crystal. I'll do that one for four. And this one is a really nice heavy one. And it's not the kind with the mar with the um, magnets in it. So it's not, I think it's a, an artisan piece. But it's really beautifully made. And it's thick. It's nice and chunky. And we're going to do that one for seven. Okay. What else do we got? I need to put... We have 
steel bracelet with mother of pearl. We'll do that one for eight. Ugh. I need to get these bags out of here. to measure it because you want to know how long it is if you're gonna you want to know how it'll fit you right seven and a half no I keep forgetting that the mark is here and not at the end so yeah eight inches eight inches beautiful piece eight dollars We have this guy. Ooh. Really nice. I wish I had something to wear it with. It would look really cool with some Bumblebee Jasper. If you have Bumblebee Jasper jewelry that you would like to kick up a notch, you can... Take this one off my hands for seven bucks. Because I like to mix and match sometimes. Oh, we have a lot of 10 for 10, I believe it was. Let me see. Oh, there's that one. It might have been a 10 for 10. Oh, let's see. That's serving. That. Oh, it wasn't 10 for 10. All right. These were $3 each. And we got the heart. With the right, oh wait, no rhinestones. We got this one with the little stone, this one with the heart. This is beautiful, it's got a beautiful chain and a, <clears throat> a little ball with some goodies on it. And this one, since it's tangled up, you can't see. This is a beautiful little rhinestone snowflake. Pretty little guy. So those are all three. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, and four. Three dollars each. <clears throat> This one is sterling. Oh. Oh, okay. I uh, painted my nails. Got the rainbows going. Oh, this is a opal ring that I bought from Roberta. And this is just a little... One of those midi rings. This is gorgeous. It's a dove with a halo. It is sterling on a sterling chain. Very fine little chain. Vintage, vintage, vintage. I need to clean the chain a little more. But this one is... Fifteen and a quarter inches, and uh, this one sold. <laughs> sold was supposed to sell for eighteen, so we'll do eighteen on him. Let me put him back in a bag here, so he doesn't get tangled up. And there we go. This one. 
is the black and red. Bib. It is resin slash plastic and um, what do you call it? Uh, gun metal. It's the prettiest little thing. It just needs to come over the top. I thought it looked a little weird. Wait, what? How come? What? Ah, there we go. <laughs> but anyway, this one was $6. And it's, let's see, some lengths on it. I was going to keep this one, but it's a little long for the dress that I want to wear it with. So... I seldom did it, but it did, and it came back to me, so we'll see. <laughs> 26. Wait, no, not 26. Yeah, come on out. Okay. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Mondays are, duh, are tough. Do you ever get that? Mondays are tough where you kind of, you're all discombobulated because you were all relaxed for the weekend, and then... And then 22 inches, that is what we have here. So $6 for that. It's very pretty. And there, it's, it's all resin um, and uh, plastic, but it's really pretty. Nobody will know it's not glass, right? 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 This one I don't have a price on, but it's nice and clean and it is a Liz Claiborne black glass this one's glass we're gonna do it for eight it's got little rhinestones right above the black stones here let me let me get it a little bit closer so you can see it better it's very pretty all right Let's see how long. And I know it bothers some people that I measure everything, but I want you to know whether it'll fit you. Okay, so that's 18 inches. And we're going to do that for... Yeah. Did I already say it? I hate when I do that. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to do this one for nine. It feels wonderful. It's all glass. It's not, you know, the chippy stuff. Chippy, chippy. Chippy, chippy. All right. Here's the rest of that lot. Let's put this over here. Mm -hmm. We have a collar stay thingy. Do that for four. We have a... Brass and abalone with a resin coating to keep it safe. And that one I'm going to do for five. Even though it's brass, uh, it's still quite lovely. Look at the rainbows. Oh, you can't see the rainbows I'm seeing. It's gorgeous. It's got purple and pink and green. Pretty. It goes really well with my nail polish. <laughs> of course. That one, I don't know. Did I just, did I already say it? I hate Mondays. Oh my god. <gasps> Let me do this one for five, I guess. And then this one is steel, I think. Let me, I, don't, I didn't scritchy scratchy this one. I've been, um needing to test my things that I think are steel because much of the time or sometimes the stuff you think is steel is actually sterling with a rhodium plating on it and it's really hard to test Nope, I'm going to say that's steel because I can't even get through it. 
but it's gorgeous. It's got a little yellow stone. Canary diamond. I'm pretty sure they're all CZs. And then it has the trillion cuts on the side. White stones. Very pretty. Fashion ring. Uh, what is that? Do I have a market here? Let's see. I don't think so. I think it's just a divot. A divot. Okay, so it's got a little circle. And then it's got a little... Your kit. What? What? So tiny, I can't even read it. It says 925, but I think it's BS. I cannot get it to scratch. No, I can't get it to scratch. So I'm going to say that that's BS. It's really pretty, though. I think I'll have Hubs test those stones just in case, but it's really pretty you can speak for it if you wanted but I'll give you a price at that point because I need to have it tested okay put that over here and then there's this <laughs> look at this little ring oh, it's a little flip flop with a sailboat on it I do that for a dollar it's a stretchy it's just a little stretchy that you put on like this a <laughs> dollar one dollar for that. Bing! And then we have this that has earrings to match. Where's the earrings? I know the earrings are in here somewhere. They might still be in the box. Hold on. They might still be in the box. Anyway, there's a pair of earrings to go with it, so. I'll do that for seven with the earrings when I find them. Or seven, seven for this, and then if, the, if I find the earrings, I'll throw them in for free. And this is Kenneth Cole. Alrighty, that is that lot that somebody passed up and said I changed my mind she switched out some other things um, you see the you see that what's missing back here that bracelet she decided to do that instead of all these so that's pretty awesome and this is another lot that somebody has passed up this is steel as far as I can tell hold on Let's see if we can get it to scratch. Yeah, that one is plated. Because that is like a gold color. Like a coppery-ish color. It's got some pink in it, so. This is silver tone. It's beautiful. It says it's 925. And that is a blatant lie. So we're going to measure. I'm sorry, we're measuring. Okay. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. And we will do this one for six. It's really pretty. It looks like steel, but it's not. It's a silver tone. It's really nicely crafted. It's just not made of what they say it's made of. Really nice, pretty one. Okay, and then we have a JJ, I think. Wait, no. It's a kitty cot. Kitty cot. It's not a JJ, but I can't read it. 
It's a kitty cat on a branch. Kitty cat on a branch. With, and he's matte and shiny. He's adorable. We're going to do him for six. And then we have another little snowflake with a single stone in the middle. Very nice. We do that one for three. And then I have this one. Really nice chain. Very shiny. And I'm not sure what kind of chain that is. It's like an odd... Odd... Come on. It's an odd configuration. It's cute, doll. Do that for a dollar. All right, so that is all the things. And then we have, I think I've showed you this before. Oh, wait, no. I think somebody spoke for this one. Ooh. So we'll put it aside. Whoopsie. And this one. This one I was going to look up. Because it feels really nice. 10021 something Kara Ross that's right I still have to look up the Kara Ross okay so that's the end of that we're going to cut it here because I wanted to oh wait there's one more thing oh this big giant craft block you take the name out of it. Big giant craft lot for 15 bucks. It's got all kind of stuff in it. Every everything you can imagine. And you know, for 15 bucks, ooh, look at that. That's Enamel on copper, it looks like. Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen. For that. So let me know if you want a fifteen dollar craft bag. Alright. There. Now we're closer to the end of where we would normally be at the end. <laughs> so. There we go that on the ground there I'd like to thank you for all for being here please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment in the down there and if you see something you can't live without please do leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested but if you would rather you could send that same information to my email which is in my description but if you do that please include the title of the video and a date that it was posted so that I can find your items and if you have not bought from me before, include your name, your address, your PayPal email, and your YouTube name. That way I can match up your names, get your items invoiced, and get your items in the mail to you as soon as possible. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye!